In a world full of volatility, we have to look at who is our community and what resources do we have to support us in that network, whether it's finding a job offer, whether it's the emotional support we need in moments where things are difficult, losing a job, being forced to move, having a breakup or a change in your relationship. It's also the knowledge you need, the inside information, the job opening, the opportunity, all comes from this network. So when we're seeing our X Factor members feel isolated, being top performers, being successful in their careers, working hard to move forward, feeling that their social ties are weakened over time, because many of us, let's be honest, make most of our friends in our adult life in high school and college, because everything is geared to be social. Everything about that experience is geared to be social. Join the team, join the club, participate, join a frat, join a sorority. And then all of a sudden we start making these decisions on our own path to carve out the life we want for ourselves. And those decisions mean shedding some of those relationships, moving away from people that you felt connected to. When we look at what's happened to most of our community resources, right? We look at the rise of secularism. We had John Taffer on to talk about the corner bar and the disappearance and the move towards man caves and the move towards you building expensive home theaters so you don't go to the movies anymore. We're building more and more of our life around isolation too. We're drawn to the PlayStation 5. We're drawn to the Netflix versus the choices our ancestors had to be social, to be a part of a community, to join clubs. So we have to work against the tide. We have to work against these forces to build the relationships and the community in our lives that matter. And when you recognize this, when you realize that you're falling into this trap of being a bit of a lone wolf, of choosing more isolation in response to the stress, the volatility, the media, the external forces that are making us feel worse about situations, we're doubling down on the exact things that harm us, that move us further and further away from the people, the relationships, the success we want in life. So when we look at all of these forces, for many, we have to break out and make a singular choice around how do I put myself in a situation to build and foster the relationships that I need to get ahead. That's going to mean taking out the AirPods. That's going to mean going to social events. That's going to mean seeking out communities. And that's going to feel difficult and challenging. Why? Because it's fraught with potential failure. It's fraught with potential rejection. And we know that we want as humans to feel safe. We want to feel heard, valued, accepted. But in order to find that tribe, in order to find that community, we're going to have to go through some difficult choices to get there. In a way, we become victims of our own success. Combine the last three years of you know lockdowns and pandemics and stuff with uh, this glorified view of what would it be like if I just had an awesome man cave with like arcade machines and a PS5, a home cinema, right? You work hard. Why not build that that man cave or this entertainment? center at home, that then after a hard day at work, working on your project, working on your business, whatever it is, to relax in this comfort zone that you've afforded yourself, that you look forward to. And it really takes a conscious effort to say, wait, I'm done with my work now, time to close the laptop and not fire up the PS5, not fire up the home cinema, but actually take that extra step, which takes effort and pushes you outside of your comfort zone and will go and dial up your inner critic and then actually step outside of your home or your workplace and meet people. Do that scary thing that's known as going to a bar going to a social event, going to the cinema, going to meet people.